The Seven Star Decidui Terror Raid event is now live once again in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We've got an updated build to go over in today's video to make this raid super easy for you to solo in your games. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So running from the 24th of March as of recording this video to the 26th of March, the Decidui 7 Star Terror Raid event is now live once again in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You're going to be able to go in and battle this strong Pokemon, but remember if you've already taken part in this event and caught it in your games, you're no longer going to be able to catch it. You can only have one of these per save file. But it does make for a very good raid event to go in and farm some of the higher cost items that this terror raid drops. And to do that super easy, we've got the perfect build for you to make it super quick and a very efficient way to farm these items. So if you need to get the raid event back, as always, you're going to have to go into your poker portal and you're going to have to come down to Mystery Gifts. If you're in Mystery Gifts, just come down to check Poker Portal News. It'll connect you to the internet and it will update all of the terror raid dens in the past their region meaning that you're going to have this terror raid event now appearing so after you've done the update you want to come to your map and you will be able to locate the terror raid event then which will look like this and you'll be looking for the flying terror type den that the decidui houses in so you want to just head to that once you've located it and once you're at the den, we can now go over the build. The build that we'll be taking into this to make it super easy is going to be Mariadon. It is one of the box art legendaries, the electric and dragon type. It's going to resist pretty much all of the attacks that Decidio is going to throw out at you. The build itself, you're going to have the held item of the life orb. You're going to have the EV spread of 252 HP, 252 special attack, and then dump the four remaining EVs in either special defense or defense. We've got that hidden engine ability and move set of charge, metal sound, parabolic charge, and electro drift and a modest nature that is important as well just to maximize damage output Now the build for Maridon will be in the description if you want to take a more detailed look at it but this is the build it's pretty straightforward and you just need to have the exact build that we've got here once you've got it then just join into the raid and to start the battle off you're going to want to use metal sound we missed our first one unfortunately but uh, if you do, just carry on like this. Just use Metal Sound twice. That's the, the first two steps that you're going to want to use. Uh, you are going to take a little bit of damage. Metal Sound doesn't have the best accuracy, so it does miss sometimes. Like I say, we missed that first one there, but use two Metal Sounds. That will get the, the, the special defense on the Decidueye to minus four. Um, critical hit, not ideal there. The next time, we are going to want to use Charge, and this will just make sure that our next electric attack is as strong as possible. And then we are ready to launch an attack into the Decidueye here, as long as we take this low kick, which we do. And now we're set up to go for this Electro Drift with the Life Orb attached. The minus two on the Decidueye, we should be one-shotting this thing and making it one of the easiest things to do, especially considering it is a seven-star raid and it is going to be as easy as that for you, my friends. So two Metal Sounds, one charge, and then the Electro Drift. And with the Life Orb, you will always be able to one-shot this Decidueye just like that. And you're going to be able to go through and farm this uh, event for as long as you want and get the high item drops and really farm a lot of good valuable items you see there we've got the ability capsule a lot of level up candies loads of flying terror shards which is amazing because we're getting like what we're getting like 40 terror shards there for flying types which is amazing so if you're wanting to change pokemon's type to flying and you're getting a lot of flying terror shards for pretty much a, a a tiny amount of time invested so it's a really good effective way to just farm through this raid event easily going forward over this weekend and of course because you only get one seven star terror raid per day to get it back if you don't know it will have disappeared off your map there is a simple trick to do this what you want to do is just hit your home menu now then you want to come down to system settings then come down to system then down to date and time Make sure that your synchronized clock via the internet is off. Then come down to date and time. Just click through this here. Click OK. You don't need to change anything. Just scroll through. Make sure you click that OK. And then come back into the game. And all the dens will change here. And you'll be able to respawn that seven star raid event den for you to locate. And then go and beat the Decidueye once again. 
So that is everything that we've got for today's video. This is literally the easiest seven star raid event that we've had with this build as well. It's gonna make it super easy for you to go in and just farm as many decidui as you want. Really rack up the number of those flying terror shards you've got as well as the level up candies. It's a really solid way for you to go in. Easy for everyone to do as well, accessible and it makes it super easy. So I hope you found today's video useful. If you have, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future scarlet and violet content enjoy the raid event for this weekend and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye